It's cold. Look at the lake. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna leave this open for a minute because it's hot. It's 81 degrees. It's 81 in here. Hot. Cause I was when I got the whiff of it. Oof. I was. I can't clean this up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla Diane. You have tuned into Groovy Kitty. So right now I am in a hotel room because I am in Lake Tahoe. Yes, I'm in Lake Tahoe. So let me show you guys what it's looking like because it is hot up in this room. This is what it's looking like. It's very cold out here, but it's like 81 degrees in here because um, we had the heater on. And we had um, the fireplace on, baby. Let me tell you how it is hot. Okay. You know, so we all hot up in here. Um, if it's loud, someone's in the shower. They also have music playing. So, you know, yeah, trying to get the vibes. Yes. Um, so, right now, I'm cooking breakfast. Ooh, I'm so close. So, right now, I'm cooking breakfast. Um, we made some turkey bacon. Ooh, what's in here? Toast, which are we, we're making more toast, but for right now, this is all we got because I was like, don't be making toast, and you know, the potatoes ain't even done. So, normally, I do like smother potatoes, but we didn't have no oil in this hotel, so I had to put them in the oven. So, they had to go in the oven, um, so I have to keep stirring it. Can I use the bathroom? Can I, I use the bathroom? Might have to wait a second. He has to use the bathroom. I'm starting to soften up. Yes. But I don't want them to get all crunchy. Privacy. Yeah, you was in the bathroom when I was taking the shower. Because I had to clean up your throw up, that's why. Ooh, hot. Uh, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. This is also why it's hot up in here, because the oven's on. Yeah, the oven's on, so. Yeah, and when we go on vacation, baby, we cook. Okay, because I'm not about to be sitting here, you know, sitting here buying no food from this place. First of all, let me tell you how we were talking for some more to eat last me. night. And dinner was, the dinner plates were like $35. The cheapest thing I saw was $35 for a salad. There's nowhere to park. Yeah. No. No. Anyways, so yeah, so last night I was so sick. I was so sick. So the night before, um, the night before, I I was in the bathroom all night. You know, I had diarrhea because I was drinking you no know, laxatives and stuff like that to make myself use the bathroom. Because I take iron pills. For those of you who don't know, I have sickle cell anemia. So, um, so I was drinking prune juice, and then I took I drank um, laxative tea. Try to force myself to use the bathroom, but baby, let me tell you how. Oh, yeah, I went to the bathroom, and then after that, I, my iron dropped. My iron dropped, I was packing, and then all of a sudden, my iron dropped out of nowhere. And I was like, oh my gosh. So, when that happened, um, I couldn't move, I couldn't do anything, I was like so weak, but then, um, my daughter came to the room, she, she got my pills, so I basically took a pill. And then when I took that pill though, I had to like lay there for like an hour. I'm like, I thought we were late because you know, we were trying to get out by, um, we were trying to get out by 11, but it was already 12 o'clock. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I really don't feel well. So, um, so yeah, so I had to lay there for an hour and let that pill kick in a little bit. But this is where I went wrong at. I should have took my prescription pills 
instead of taking the ones that I got from Walmart, which are, they're gentle, they're gentle, um, it's gentle iron. So I think it has like a lot less iron in it and my prescription pills is like packed, like full force iron. So I don't know why I took the gentle ones and not my actual iron pills. That's where I messed up at. Um, so I took the gentle ones, it was very light, and then it's like I was waiting for it to like kick in. I was like, man, I can't, I can't take the other ones now. I can only take one iron pill a day because you can get really sick. But, um, so I was like, man, I, I really didn't mess up or whatever. So I was like, all right, it's, like, it's cool. I'm, I'm just waiting till tomorrow, you know, and I'm gonna take the other one, which I forgot them. I cannot believe I forgot my prescription pills, anyways. So so we leave or whatever. So I'm like, I'm like drained. I am drained to the fullest, right? So I basically, uh, so I was like super drained. So then I basically, um, shit, what happened? Okay, so I get to my aunt's house and you know, I'm waiting for them to like, you know, hurry up and pack. Oh my gosh. Like, not pack, but just, just come on now. Come on. Like, y'all knew we got to go. Like, why are you guys just not getting rental cars? Like, I'm so confused. Anyways, so I'm waiting for them to hurry up, which, I mean, I didn't really mind. At the same time, I was not feeling it. Like, I was in that car for, like, what, like, 10 minutes? And I was uh, sick. I felt horrible. Like, my body was aching so bad. And that was just 10 minutes. So I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do a two-hour drive. So... So yeah, so I basically rested at my auntie's house for like two hours and then finally got on the road around five. Put on the road at 11, but we got out by five o'clock. We got here by seven o'clock and like the whole time I'm on the road, um, I mean, I was aching, but it wasn't like too bad. Like my pill, I kicked in a little bit. Like I felt, I still felt drained, but I felt okay because I was sitting down. Now, when we got here, and my husband parked. So, um, so I get here, right? Can you tell your dad to turn the music down, please? So I get here, and then the first thing we did, first thing my husband did was open the door. He opened the car door. And he was like, oh, I just gotta stretch. He wanted to stretch. My kids wanted to get out the car. First of all, my kids was fine the whole time. The whole time. The second we got here, all of a sudden, oh, I'm so hot. I need to get out. It's so hot. I need cold air. I'm sitting here like, y'all was fine the whole time. Now all of a sudden, now you want to get out because you hot. I'm like, it's so cold. Anyway, so he opened the door, right? The cold hit my skin. And when I tell you my skin cringed, and all of a sudden I was freezing. The second the cold air hit my skin, the second he opened that door. So then he closed it, and I was like, oh, no, mm -mm. And kid, the kid's like, oh, I want to get the car, I want to get the car, I want to get the car. And I was like, no, because it's cold outside. I don't want this door to be open no more because I don't feel well. So please don't open the door no more. Then he got back in the car. It hit my skin again. He was like, oh, what's going on? What? I saw him my cousin. I was, like, hey. I was like, hey, where's the room? I didn't get to the room. Because I was like, I need to get to this room because I am freezing. So she was trying to find a place to order. So we sat in the car for like 25, 30 minutes. I don't know how long. It felt like forever, okay? But I got like, I got, I got like really upset. So I was like, you know what? I was like, we'll just walk to the front of the hotel. And it was not a quick walk, right? It was actually some ways away, okay? And when I tell you, I got out that car thinking I was gonna do something, I grabbed my backpack. Yeah, I grabbed my backpack. And let me tell you how <coughs> reality set in. Okay, yeah, reality set in. Uh, give me a second. All the chairs, please. How? How do I move them? Good. I can't. So my son threw up. So now I gotta clean it up. Okay. He threw up last night. Uh, we already cleaned What's it up. We already cleaned it up. But the guy did a horrible job. So I, I don't know what this is. So now I have to go back and do a better job. Mm -hmm. I'm mopping the floor. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm? You said, how did you throw it? What do you think? You throw it. You like this. All over me. All over you? Mm-hmm. And then he went to the toilet and he threw up on the floor. He missed. He up on your leg. Mm-hmm. What guy on your leg? Mm-hmm. Who can I follow the toilet? I can make sure. Mommy, that was tail done. What? They say so long, mommy. I'm ready to eat. I'm out of here. I want some bread. The one that I made. I want some teriyaki. And some food. And. Mommy, can I just eat the chicken? I mean, I mean the potato glass. No. Mm -hmm. Get that receipt up, please. But it takes so long, Mom. And everybody's red email. Is that the John's bathroom going up? Huh? The John's bathroom going up? That was the last one. That was about that maintenance was here yeah maintenance came because um my son threw up everywhere last night and um i he threw up on me <sighs> well, let me tell you he took everything in me to hold it back okay because i was when i got the whiff of it oof. i was i can't clean this up i'm sorry i cannot clean this up like yeah no my husband had to step in and clean it up because I and he was he was feeling good last night. His throat was hurting. He uh, what symptoms did you have last night? Was it sore throat and fatigue? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, he was having sore throat and fatigue. I my sickle cell was acting up. It was acting a fool yesterday, and then my son threw up everywhere because he uh we bought them mcdonald's because it was like heck of late at night so like, everything in the hotel was closed so he bought the mcdonald's and like the mcdonald's was like super gross so yeah so he ended up throwing it all up 
man. So I'm super excited to get my day started. I just want to come on here and tell you guys about my night because baby, you know, I tell you, I almost died. Like my body was like, girl, bye, okay? You ain't going nowhere. Like I could not walk at all. Like I couldn't walk. Um, I'm man. By the time I made it up to the hotel room, my body completely shut down. Like I couldn't walk. I couldn't stand, and I was just it was over for me. One day I'm going to record a video, you know, with me showing you guys my symptoms. But I just have to be in a comfortable state when I do it because like I I, I get very sick, like very very sick. And if it's not taken care of in that moment, I really could die. So. I don't want that to happen so maybe one day I could like show you guys um, you know it leading up to that point because yeah as for showing you guys when I actually get to like that 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 paralyzed state no I can't I can't I'm, I'm, I mean I could I'm, I'm pretty sure I could have someone turn the camera on to show you guys yeah but you know I don't know as you can see I have like dark circles under my eyes my color is coming back um, but I'm still super pale um, you know, you guys might be like, oh no, you look fine. No, okay, I know how I look on the daily, and I'm telling you, I don't look fine at all. You know, I look super pale, I just don't look, I look sick, and that's okay, that's okay, you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for the video, bye.